one suffer through a terrible dry spell. We've gone nearly a month without significant rain. And that is forcing some cities to make changes. Charles Benson live in New Berlin where there are a lot of dried out lawns, Charles. And the drought conditions have a lot of communities worried. Here in New Berlin, they're cutting back on hours on when people can water. And in communities like Waukesha, they're trying to get people to buy into environmental friendly ideas like my brown lawn is green. New Berlin has an odd even sprinkling ordinance that allows homeowners like Allison Salazar to water on different days based on their address. Pretty much given up on the lawn. I think my, my husband still has some hopes, but as you can see with the sprinkler going. But now New Berlin is putting up signs restricting sprinkling hours for most residents because of the drought. The city buys its water from Milwaukee, but it's still not enough. Are you surprised you're in this situation? No, I'm not surprised. You know, in this drought condition, we know it's going to happen. Right now, New Berlin is using about 5 million gallons a day, but if it goes over 6.5 million a day, it will have to pay a penalty. The pipes are only so big. You know, I get so much water out so far, so that's the biggest reason why uh, we're limited to 6.5 million gallons. Demand is also up in Waukesha. The drought has dropped one of its aquifers 20 percent. Daily usage went from 7 million gallons a day to 10 million. But the city believes its conservation sprinkling policy, limiting homeowners on when they can water, is working. People don't like brown grass. How do you deal with the brown grass? My brown grass is green, and that's our slogan and motto in Waukesha. And it's also happening in places like the village of Pewaukee and Oconomowoc. They've issued restrictions so far. We have not heard of any in Milwaukee County. On your side in New Berlin, Charles Benson, today's TMJ4. Yeah, a lot of communities taking steps like this. Thanks, Charles.